Hey, welcome to Let's Fly in VFR. Today we're going to look at how to make the perfect landing. And I've got to thank uh, Pedro Serra for bringing this up because he saw how poorly I landed uh, in one of the other videos. Pedro is a 777 pilot, so he knows what he's talking about. Now, if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, then thanks for coming on back. So what is the argument? Well, there is a, quite a, an argument out there over which way is right. And, you know, if you read enough on, uh, on Google, there is no right and there's no wrong. But there is a perspective and people are very passionate about which way they like to fly. So approaches, how can you do them? There's two primary ways uh, appears that you can do these things. So um, it's attitude for airspeed. So you control the what, your pitch of your aircraft and that will control your airspeed, and then you set your throttle to that. And then you use your throttle to control your descent rate once you have that set up and in balance. So um, I've done that a few times. That seems closer to what I would normally do, but I've got to be honest, I really didn't have a, a fixed uh, mental picture of what I was doing when I've been flying, even when I've been flying Jabiru's. Um, maybe I got poked in the ribs, but it's something I don't remember um, it being pointed out greatly. So what's the number two version of this? The other second version is attitude controls rate of descent. So you're going to move your attitude to get your descent rate and then power is going to control your forward airspeed. So um, there's two totally different ways of doing it really. Um, you're going to like one or you're going to like the other. And uh, I believe Pedro uh, likes the, the second one. So he's probably not going to be as happy if I like the first one, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's all the discussion out there. So let's go fly one of each. I'll do my very best. And uh, you can rate me on the landings and the approach, which is the most critical part. And uh, maybe tell me below, what do you prefer? Or haven't you even thought about it? You're going to be a better pilot? You need to have one of these in your bag. Let's go. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X-Plane 11. Props, jets and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, here we are on approach into Parafield Airport, uh, Para Adelaide International, sorry. Okay, Parafield's off to our left. So what we're doing here, the intent is to control our descent, our speed with our descent or our attitude, okay? So I'm looking for 80 knots. I'm gonna take a first stage of flaps pretty early on and I'm happy because I can see some red and some white at the airstrip ahead of us on the on the runway. So we're at 80 knots now. Now what I'm gonna do is control our descent rate with power. So if I'm getting too much, I'll just add a little power. So that's steady at about uh, 300 feet per minute and I can see a split of red and white. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I certainly can. I hope you can. So we're a nice gentle descent rate and we're probably a little high because the red's gone. So I'm just coming back just ever so slightly on the RPM. Put a nose down to keep that pitch, keep that um, speed up at the, where I want it. So back on back nose down uh, nose up sorry as I increase so I need to get my nose up to bring the speed back so we're controlling our speed with pitch there we go now we start to accelerate so we just trim those up a little bit it's only ever so fine it's ever so fine once it's all stabilized and settled so we settled there, settled there nicely at 80 knots, at about 450 feet on the descent rate. And I like this because it's nice and stable. We're not chasing anything too much here. We're a little bit right of center, so let's go a little bit left. 
it might be a bit of a wind. The, I'm using real world weather, so the weather may have um, changed uh, the wind on us. Should have looked, but I've had a few goes. I've had some problems with some uh, sound on an earlier version that I did, guys. So it sounded terrible. I don't know what went wrong with that. But anyway, so we're seeing white, so we're a little high. So we need to increase our descent rate. So we maintain our attitude for the speed and we drop a little bit of RPM and we should increase our descent rate a little. Still a little bit right of the extended center line. Now we can just see a little red coming back onto the lights. So the inner lights are now red, so we're pretty close, just a tad high. We're maintaining 80 knots pretty comfortably, just with trim. And it's a nice long runway, so we don't have to be super you know, down on it. There we go, we've just had a weather update, so that's kicked us around a little bit. So nose down to get my airspeed and a little bit of power to decrease my descent rate. Nose down and power up a little bit. And we're a little low, so we need to power up to, to get over those trees, but maintain our 80 knots with pitch. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pitch over the trees there. Okay. So I'm maintaining the 80 with the pitch authority. So we're coming into runway one, two, which is more or less the cross strip here in Adelaide International. Now power off and then we'll finish our landing. So we need a, we're a little bit right to left. Need a little bit of left rudder just to kick in and straighten us as we come in for the touchdown. And the flare, there we are, not too bad. There we go, straighten that out. Okay, there we go, stopped. Runway one, two, and that was uh, all about pitch controlling speed okay pitch of the aircraft the pitch or the attitude of the aircraft controlling the speed on the approach and the power controlling the descent rate power and descent rate okay right let's try the other version which is Descent rate controlled by pitch and speed controlled by power, which is sort of a reversal of the whole thing. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, here we go out on approach into runway nine. So um, now I didn't have the uh, the yoke up for the last one, but I think it's better. You can see all the instruments. So what we need to do now is I know the runway is just to the right. There we go. I can see the lights now. You can just see them coming in. So what we're aiming to do here is controlling our speed with throttle and our descent rate with pitch. So I want to get us back to about 80 knots to fly the approach from here. So I'm going to bring the, the throttle back. Okay, so there, and we'll take our first stage of flap on our approach. So I'm just going to go nose down. No, we're not. Okay, nose up. I need. I've got too much power. So pitch is going to control our descent. So if I pitch down, our speed will increase. So I'm going to have to reduce power, aren't I? See if we can get this right. So I can see a bit of red and a bit of white on the runway. I think I'm a little bit right of the extended center line. So I need to bring my nose down. I need more power. And I need my nose up to stop my descent rate. So more power. 
power is airspeed and pitch is descent rate Descent rate. I want some more descent rate, so I need to back off the power as well. Otherwise, I'll be going too fast. A little bit right of centre, it appears. A little bit left of centre. There we go. Power's fine, keeping my 80 knots on the way in. Wander a little bit, maybe there's a bit more wind. Well, I've just had a weather update, so the winds may be a little bit more from the south, which is quite um, normal here in Adelaide, and we would probably normally need the other runway. So we're, we're on um, glide slope though, that's good. So power of my 80, uh, nose up for descent rate more power to maintain okay we're nearly reasonably well reasonable on the approach so I want less power and I want nose down so I want pitch down for attitude pitch down for attitude Pitch down for my de descent. Hope I've got this right. I'm talking myself in circles. I think I've got a bit of a right crosswind happening here. So I'm happy for the speed to bleed off as we're coming in over to the threshold. 70 is fine. I'm maintaining 70 with the throttle. My descent rate with the nose of the aircraft. They're just a little low. You can see the they're all red now, but that's fine. And as we come in over the threshold, we can back off and bring the nose up and just keep flared. A little bit of a right to left crosswind. 60 knots, just keep that nose up. There we are. And we're, we're down and we're down. Must be a bit more of a right crosswind there because it really does want to weather vane in. So let's get the brakes on gently. Uh, and try not to go off this big runway so there we are that's round two so in that situation we've used power to control our speed as best we can and we've used attitude to control our descent rate so did you think this one was easier than the other just on the way I did it how about you give it a try and let me know in the comments as well so I subscribe like and leave me a comment Look forward to hearing from you.